boys ghosts of madden are live they are here best content drop of the year possibly let me know what cards you got your eyes on what cards i should try what cards you want me to try what cards you want my opinion on I'll tell you everything. I'll show you the cards I got. I hope you guys are having great holidays. We are ready for Christmas. Super excited about it. I have a toddler, so, dude, I can't wait. I can't wait to spend so much and give him so many gifts so he only cares about the empty box. That's pretty much how it's going to go. I'm prepared for it, but can't wait. Hope you guys are really gearing up for Christmas and their holidays and everything with your family. But we're still gearing up with Madden. So let me show you the cards I added from Ghost of Madden right now, boys. I'm going to start with quarterback. Obviously, you see no change in my quarterback. Mahomes is not an option. He doesn't have hot route master. Now, you can get Mahomes and add apprentices, but I feel like that just messes up your AP. I've been kind of rocking the same AP all over, boys. Uh, so, for me, I don't really want to mess with that. I still think Elway is just unreal release. Gets rid of the ball so fast. That generic one or slinger one that he has. I mean, I have no problem with Elway. Uh, Bledsoe gets the same abilities for 6 AP, so he would be worth trying. Now, I know I had Bledsoe was the, one of the first quarterbacks I tried other than Aaron Rodgers early in the year, but I still think Elway is the most perfect quarterback, man. The way he, his release, his abilities, he's, he's not super mobile, but he's got that 80 speed. He's able to get up out of there sometimes. I don't think there's a reason to change quarterbacks. Now, if you were going to try one, I would say Bledsoe is your guy to try, but I'm not even going to mess with it, I don't think. Then we got Marshawn Lynch. This is the running back I picked up. It was either him or it was DeMarco Murray. I did love Marcus Allen, but I grabbed Marshawn Lynch. He has that zero AP bruiser, way more of a trucking stiff arm back. I think that's kind of what the game is. It's not really a juke. Everybody can kind of juke. And it was either DeMarco Murray for Jukebox or Marshawn Lynch for Bruiser. I'm trying out Bruiser. Let me know who you guys got at running back. Then we grabbed Herman Moore. Probably the number one card, if I, if you said, what's a must-have card from Ghost of Madden? Herman Moore. Dude, he's six foot four. With the Legends theme to me, is 96 speed. I, I would say the fastest player in the game. Dude, and he gets short in for one, which is the, the main man-beating ability in the game this year. And then he has medium out for zero. I don't know what medium out does. But if you were to tell me you get it for free, then it plays. So you get two abilities for one AP. You get a six foot four, 96 speed wide receiver. The best card, the best card in the promo, without a doubt, man. The reason why I say the best card in the promo, we'll get to one on defense. I think is also just as good. But when, if you have to choose between the offensive and the defensive card, always pick the offensive one. You control how he's involved in the game. You could spend 2 million coins on a defensive card that never gets a sack, never gets the ball thrown to him, never gets the ability to impact the game. But if you spend that money on an offensive card, you control how he gets the football. So you have more control over the offensive players. That's why I always value them higher than defense. That's what I got. If you guys have been living under the rock, these are my abilities. Uh, Joe Thomas has threat detector and edge protector, so I won't get beat by those edge threats, and I'll be able to see who's blitzing on third and fourth down. We got the free abilities on Fanica, Puller Elite, Nasty Streak on Kelsey, both free. Then we have Secure Protector, the best pass protecting on my right tackle, which is actually a center, Jeff Saturday, which I don't really care about out of position. They get down, they get busy if they have that ability. Then we have Zach Ertz with one AP short in. I know you guys want to say, get Taysom Hill. I do have Taysom Hill. He's on the bench. But I do like that little bit more height at tight end. Those are, that's the one position I try to add to a little bit more. Uh, so I like that height. I don't know if I want to full go with uh, Taysom Hill. But he is on the bench just in case Zach, Zach Hurts gets hit, gets injured. He's red on the fourth down. I got a short end to bring off the bench. Anybody with zero AP abilities should at least be on your bench. They're playing for free. They're free to the salary cap. Let it go get them for real. Then I have, Ma I have Calvin Johnson. I have Moss. I have Debo. Debo Samuel for short out elite. If you guys have not noticed the last week since the last patch, short out elite will fry man press for a touchdown. It will light up and boom, you're out of there. That's a great zero AP ability. Um, Waddle also gets it. Calvin Johnson and Randy Moss are Calvin Johnson and Randy Moss, you know. But at the same time, I still have Steve Smith on the bench too with that free short and elite. So that's my offense. That's what I'm rocking. Added William Perry for the return man on special teams. But that's it. I mean, I would say the only must-have card on offense is Herman Moore. The other ones are kind of novelty. Defense. Okay. You see that bad man is strong safety. You see him. I mean, I want to know what was your first Madden you ever played, man. I Madden 08 was the first Madden I really got really comp at. 
I played Madden before that, but Madden 08, I took it to the comp level. Cromartie was an absolute goon in Madden 08. He was the only corner that could spec catch. Uh, neck and neck with Dion for the best corner in the history of Madden. I think I got to give it to Dion just because of all the years of Mutt. But Cromartie, if we're talking regs, best DB without a doubt. We'll take a look at him. He gets discounted man-to-man -man abilities. He has 96 speed, 6 foot 2. He has the height, has the speed, 99 man coverage. In a man meta, I'm definitely running man. I'm putting him as safety because I'm either going to run Overstorm Brave, some type of zero blitz where my safety's in man coverage rather than my corners. And the abilities I do on a pick artist, I'm a firm believer pick artist everywhere on the field. Everybody that can have it will have it, 100%. The only people that don't have pick artists on my field are my D-tackle and one of my DNs. My other DN, Lawrence Taylor, has it for free. So, then we throw that one step, one shade. Uh, that's 2 AP, and then we got medium knockout. So, if, the, if a corner route does get open on him, he'll be able to knock it out. A slant, he'll be able to knock it out. Stuff like that. Ags, he'll get the lit up and knock the ball out. Now, pick artist is free here, but if I put it free here, then one shade, or I always call it one step, but inside shade is four. So, either way, I'm saving 2 AP on this combo this is probably for me the best man coverage combo you could have maybe deep deep knockout but for deep knockout that's three so that would be a lot a lot of ap so five ap on him is what i got best corner in the game best db in the game right now the other must have card from this promo so like i said if i was going two must have cards it'd be cromartie and it'd be herman moore uh, we did grab Warren Sapp, the best D tackle all year. He catches every single pick, sheds every single time. I actually put inside stuff on him. I'm just messing with abilities. I'm not going to tell you it's great. Uh, if you're running into inside stuff and you're running the ball, all you have to do is double team the inside stuff and it will no longer instant shed. Even if they don't actually double team him on the play, just double team him. They won't instant shed. It's an easy counter to the ability. So that's why it's not a super comp ability unless you're running two of them. Then it's a little bit OP, honestly. So, But Warren Sapp has been a dog all year. Definitely going to give him a run at D-Tackle. Then the, the last card I got, must have, not, not must have, but probably the third best card, Julius Peppers. Julius Peppers, I mean, this guy, I mean, I don't even have to say anything. Almost 300 pounds, 6'7", 95 speed, 98 zone, and 94 man. I, are we? I, this is like an absolute stud. Now, I remember Madden 15, I used to use Julius Peppers on the Packers when he was a linebacker and put him in middle linebacker. A little 3-4 even action for Madden 15. Some of you guys know. If you know, you know. But 98 jump, 6 foot. This is like an absolute golden ticket card. Now, it does get pick artists for zero. And I actually slapped on his other 1 AP ability, deep zone knockout. Means I'm going to play man covers, but I'll be able to put him in a deep blue and he'll knock out any streak or anything like that. So for me, this card is 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 just insane. I think he'll be on the field pretty much somewhere all year. Like he can play linebacker pretty much all year. So this card, insane. Now, I don't have Ted Hendricks. Why don't I use Ted Hendricks? People ask me because he doesn't get zero AP pick artists. It costs too much. He hurts your salary cap. But around the horn, we'll go Calvin. Same abilities as Julius Peppers, pick artist and deep knockout. So that guy's put him in zone. Then I got Night Train. Night Train has one step ahead and pick artist for four total AP. I would love medium knockout on him, but it's going to cost me two AP. So that means I'd have to drop one of my other APs. I'd have to. Uh, I've also thought about dropping every other ability, just having three one shades with pick artists. You know, go get Trayvon Diggs for three. I'm, I'm still tossing some things around. But the one thing I'm locked in is Cromartie with those three abilities and another inside shade somewhere playing man covers it. So that's pretty much where I'm at. I want to use Sap, Lawrence Taylor, and Javon Curse. You guys know I also have an Eagles theme team. So if you're an Eagles player like the Fridge or Javon Curse, you're definitely going to play. That way I, I can kill two birds with one stone. My linebackers are Steve Atwater and Jeremy Chin. Zero AP pick artist. You guys know I'm a huge, huge Sean Taylor fan. Just unusable. He costs AP for pick artists. Slot, Patrick Peterson, Ty Law, both zero AP pick artists. That's, I mean, you're, you're getting a the theme here, boys. You're getting a the theme. If you have zero AP pick artists, you're on the team. That's how I feel. I also have Rayshon Jenkins somewhere when I want to run 3-3 three, three and have three linebackers on the field. I definitely have Rayshon Jenkins somewhere. There he is. Zero AP along with Steve. So this is where you can hide players on your kick returners like that you don't have spots for it just hide them here you can I, somehow i have dion i didn't even know i had dion on the team still but he's out there he doesn't play but he definitely does kick returns so those are the cards i added from ghost of ghost of madden past or ghost of 
Ghost of Madden. Dope cards, for real. Talked about quarterback. I told you, man, if you guys only get two cards, I would go Herman Moore. I would rank them Herman Moore, Antonio Cromartie, Julius Peppers. I would put Peppers over Cromartie if you don't run man coverage. Like, if you're a zone guy, you want to run some cover four, maybe some match. Peppers is top notch, without a doubt. I would almost even put Peppers over Herman Moore if you're a heavy zone player. But it goes back to I like the offensive players more than the defensive players. So, those are my cards. Let's see how they do. I know you guys, I've been put, I put out a video on how to do the juke. Put out a video on how to get the custom jerseys. I've been rocking different jerseys to try to keep Madden fresh. Something that gets me excited to boot up every day. What jersey combination can I put together? So, if you guys are wondering, why not the Eagles? I'm just, just trying to mix it up, keep it fresh. But these are Ghosts of Madden. We're closing in on 40,000 subscribers. Before you watch this gameplay, make sure you subscribe to the channel, boys. And we stream every night on Twitch. You guys know that link by now. Michigan fan, what ability do you think runs the game? I mean, I agree that abilities kind of run the game. But, like, you need a lot of stick to play. If someone has stick in this game, you can tell a big difference. And most of the top players have user or they know how to use her or something like that. You know? Jersey check, jersey check. No, this was the guy I was down 20 nothing to, wasn't it? And then I, he came back and I had to clutch. Ah, I want the hard flat to get out there, man. Why is Calvin on that guy? What oh, is the house I got? That's stick, okay. bad free form i actually took a chance and went all zone i thought it was pretty good but that yellow the yellow really didn't like play as well as i thought he would part of the game man oh come on man we can't run him over we get hit sticks with marshawn marshawn i can't lie this bruiser is a little uh this bruiser is a little I don't see it lighting up. I don't see nothing crazy with it. What do we think, boys? How do we feel about I mean, he, he's getting in. He's trucking people. But I, I would like to see it light up like I'm doing something crazy. What do I think about YouTube getting Sunday ticket? I mean, any... I bought Sunday ticket, so I will always buy it. if I'm cause, Only because I'm in Philly and or I'm in Ohio and... Did he guard him there? Uh, still kind of guarding him, but... There we go. That's what I like to see. Chin be out there just for them plays, man. Oh my god, damn, dude. Oh my god. Go. Get glitch, glitch. Bro, I'm really about to, yo the way he's playing. I'm really about to put my one steps on the on the stick guy. He's got me. Out of bounds. Man, God. It's just that commitment to that god wheel route is just everything. The commitment to throwing that god wheel route and out of verticals is literally you have to do it. You have to spam that. Like, dude, you gotta just be praying for a f stop. Yo, I'm gonna put cover four down here on the two yard line. Feet. 
Let's go. That's why threat detector is so tough. I knew that was man coverage just because when he audibled, he audible to the man, so everybody was blitzing. He audible to Mike Zero. So I knew that wasn't zone. I knew it was just man coverage. I knew he started dropping people off in the zone. Threat detector is the most OP ability in the game. OP ability in the game. Pip -pip -pip oh, come on, Sap. Deep knockout. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, you got to hold on the free form. Boys, go get him. Pepec, thank you, man. Get out of there, too, Ty Law. Oh! Match beater. Let's go. Come on, man. Why don't I use Ted, Ted Hendricks? Where where do you guys play Ted Hendricks? I don't know. I might. He, he does. He get, you got to pay for his pick artist. He doesn't get cheap pick artists. So, like, I don't want to... I'm a big pick artist guy, man. Guys, put the pick artist emotes in the chat. I am like, I am 100% all pick artists in my life. Everybody. I mean, dude, why is this not getting knocked out? Like, what is, what is actually going on right here? I mean, come on, Calvin. The f Beautiful, beautiful night train inside shade on that guy. GG's, dude. Let's go, man. Yep, such a difference. God, man. Ah. Calvin. Oh my God. Come on, Calvin. My dumb ass. Oh, I always put the wrong zone out there, man. Man? I a lot of you know. Got Christmas morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm live 1030 to open presents, man. Are you guys going to be ready to open presents on 1030? Bro, I, I think I lost like two of the last three Super Bowls. I need my coins. This game's over. I mean, why do we have two people in this guy, dude? What, like, what are we doing out here? Oh, that's why you have Peppers and Calvin. <laughs> Yo, Peppers, dog. <laughs> Yo, Peppers? Oh, man. I might need to get Ted out here, too, somewhere. I might need Ted out here somewhere. Ooh. Nice double me, bro. That's what I need. Double me. That's what I need in my life. I really thought double me would like negate the uh I'm still glowing though, so I mean it's not that bad big a deal, right? Oh my god, do that right at him. Oh double me caught that one. I mean that dude just I mean, dude, I swear to God, I'm like not allowed to run C routes. I'm really not. I'm really not allowed to run C routes. I'm really not, dude. Like right, Marshawn, bro, I need more out of you right there. Pause. I 
I'm not, bro. If you're not glitch blitzing, defense sucks. Does that make sense? You gotta have some sort of glitch blitz. This guy has given me no threat of a blitz at all. I don't think I've blocked my running back, ID'd anybody, or anything. I'm just just out here putting routes out here and dotting. You have to have some type of blitz threat. That uh, you have. It doesn't matter. Even if it's some little bull, you have to have some. All right, see, I'm good on this side. I, I'm not gonna get beat by nothing. I'm cool right now. I'm cool. I'm cool actually. I'm cool. Oh yeah. That's all, 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 all. Man coverage, OP. Man coverage, OP. Pick. Whoo, there we go. Man coverage might be OP. Man coverage might be OP. Night train lane. Ah, he don't do that without pick artists. I'm telling you right now. He he might swat it. He might, but he does not do that without with pick without pick artists. GGs. Super Bowl champion of the world, boys. Champion of the world.